Hello, my name is Bernard Svez and I'm a Tiki specialist. In this Tiki Express tutorial, I'll talk about the file galleries feature in Tiki. In this video, I will show you and explain why there is a specific feature to store files in Tiki, how it looks, how to use it, how to customize the listing and display. I'll show you the file galleries, control panel, parameters and options, an overview of some advanced options, how to use the files from a file gallery in the wiki page. To summarize this tutorial, I'll show you how Tiki Search is able to retrieve information from within the file. The file gallery feature in Tiki enables users to store, classify, and distribute files that are served or can be manipulated as the file like the one from your hard disk or displayed and used as content like images, video, PDF, and more. Uploading a file or an image in an internet page is a standard option for most of the web application. While you can use this feature the same simple way, in Tiki it has been unpowered and turned into a secure full files management system. So powerful that it can, using the Tiki search engine, retrieve strings from within a Microsoft Word document or OpenOffice. Let's explore the file gallery system installed by default in Tiki. I'll start with the Tiki freshly installed from the home page and logged as admin. Tiki is totally configurable and the buttons and menu location can be changed. In my tutorials, I always explain and demonstrate things based on the default install. From the main menu, I go to the file galleries menu and I click reveal two items in this menu, list galleries and upload file. The file gallery, like most features in Tiki, use the standard template so action menu search tools and other are where you expect them to be. By default, anonymous user can see and download files. As admin, I have more privileges. I can upload, edit, create, in short, I can admin the file galleries. To upload my first file, I click on the upload link at the top of the page. It opens the upload dialog page and I can drag and drop files or select one or more files within my hard disk. I'll choose a picture of the Tiki folks during the last for them. Upload, and it's done. If I click the Browse button to get back to my gallery, I can see the new file where it should be and additional information concerning this file. It has been uploaded in my main gallery. And as I expect to place many more files, I would like to create sub-file galleries. I click on Create, and it opens the Create File Gallery screen. I give it a name, post them picture, description, and as usual in Tiki, you'll find dozens of options. It is easy to understand what of each of them do, and you can use and test them for your own Tiki. Let's just set the maximum width and height for the images uploaded in my new file gallery. I can also customize the display setting per gallery. Again, straightforward and easy to set. Information can be hidden, viewed in a pop-up box, viewed next to the file, or both. Nothing complicated, and you should feel free to play and adapt depending on your case. Save. Back to the main file gallery, I see everything as expected. My new file gallery and the file I've uploaded previously. Now that I have this gallery, I want to move my first stamp picture into it. I click on the checkbox in front of the file to select it. And on the bottom drop down, I choose the move option. I validate my action, select where I want the file to be moved, click on move, and it's done. If I click on my first damn picture gallery, I can see that my file has been moved there. Of course, now that I created this gallery, I can directly upload file in it. Let's use the drag and drop option this time to upload two new files. Upload. Shazam! I have my three files in my gallery. Moving over the branch placed in front of each of the file reveals an action menu. Display, download, archives, not available by default at this stage, upload a new version so you can update a single file or image placed in multiple documents without having to correct each one of them. Edit properties to change name, description, etc. Refresh metadata. Page view to display all the information for a file and finally delete. 
back to my main gallery, I will create a new file gallery. Again, in my newly created file gallery, I upload a couple of images. By the way, Tiki will show you the right wiki syntax to insert it right away on a wiki page. If you want to know more about the wiki syntax, check a previous Tiki Express tutorial I did on this subject. Let's browse the gallery. All is in place and the Explorer view, set by default, give you a clear idea of what you have in your file galleries. So far, we have uploaded images, but everything worked the same with documents. I prepared a new gallery to place documents I want to share with the team. Here I have a PDF file created from my own website and a YAML file from the Tiki Code files. Looking back to my main gallery, everything is clean and this without hassle or without knowing any piece of code just using the default available tools in Tiki. By the way, using sub-galleries like virtual folders, it is possible to apply specific permissions or option to a group of files in a file gallery. I'll do certainly a Tiki Express tutorial for permissions, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be informed when I publish a new video. As usual with Tiki, this feature comes with its own admin control panel where you can turn on and off dozens of options and enable more advanced parameters. It is time for me to talk of an important setting about file storage. By default, on the new installation and to ease the setup, Tiki will save your file in your database. This is okay in case you have a few images like logo and some illustrations. In other case, I strongly suggest that you use the store in directory option. It will keep your database clean and thin. Two things that have no price, especially if you want to upload many files. Select this option, indicate the path of your directory where to store your file, and you will be on the safe side. In case you started to upload some file and they are in the database already, just use the button move files from database to directory. Another important setting you need to know as Tiki Admin is the Admin Preferences View Filter. By default, it is set to Basic, and you will see only a few preferences among the hundred settings that you can change in Tiki. I toggle the switch from Basic to Advanced, save this as my default. And if I look back to the same general setting panel for the File Galleries feature in Tiki, it shows now many more preferences. Choose your main galleries, add a ranking system for your files, add comments, many options. One I use the most as Photograph Matter is the batch upload, so I can upload hundreds of files in a few clicks. The plugins tabs show and give you access to the plugins that are related to the file galleries feature. The plugin draw is really something I need to show. I guess another good idea for a Tiki Express tutorial. From the tab listing, you can set the option for your listing display by default for all your future file galleries, which means that the galleries you already created won't be modified, of course. Same goes for the admin listing option. Search and indexing options are kind of more advanced parameters, and they are to be set per use case, so we will not discuss this in this tutorial. The Enhancement tab has option to enable Elfinder interface, H5P support, Tiki Draw, SCORM support and video support. Again, I will talk of those in the future Tiki Express tutorials. So to be informed, just click on the subscribe button on the bottom right of the screen and you'll be notified each time I publish a new video. The max size of the file you can upload is a regular question. Well, in Tiki this is unlimited and it depends on your server setting. To check the upload max setting value, the easiest way is to go to the upload file screen and you'll see at the bottom a remark box with the information. In my case, I set my local server upload maximum setting to 32 megabytes. If you need to change the value on your system, you can ask your IT admin or the company that is hosting your server and add parameters and value in the .htaccess file where your Tiki is installed or to modify your server PHP.ini file. 
check at dot.tiki.org and search for Upload File Size if you need more details about this. It is time now to see common usage of the file galleries feature in Tiki. The file galleries include a slideshow that will be nice to set up if you want to use the feature to store images. I selected a gallery, edit it, check the slideshow checkbox option, save, and now I have a nice slideshow in an instant. Another good plugin to use with files is the Web Document Viewer. With so many options in Tiki, I'll use the admin preference search system. Let's enter Web Document, search, and among the results, activate it. Now let's edit my home page. I'll start by deleting the previous content so we are ready to recompose this wiki page. I set a title. I pick an image from my file gallery using the upload button. Using the help button on the right of the toolbar, I open the plugin help and I set an IMG plugin to display all the images from a file gallery. I select the right source. I pick my family time file gallery. Set the plugin to display thumbnail. I check by a click on the preview button. The images are here. Let's continue by adding a file plugins to list files. Again, I use the plugin help. I set the plugin to display the files in my team documents file gallery. Save. As we can see, files included images and documents were added on a wiki page in a few clicks. Let's add a PDF to the page now. I edit the file, use the plugin help again, select a web document viewer, and in real life, I should be able to set the ID of a document I have in my file gallery directly. But because my website is not a real one, but a local demonstration, it can display properly a file from within my computer. I'll use an external link to the same document I've uploaded into my file gallery to do the trick. I set the Y, the 8, I want to display the PDF document. Save. How cool is that? Without having to copy all the content of my document, I can display directly from my file gallery to my wiki page. One last thing as bonus for this tutorial. Some of my customers have hundreds, if not thousands of documents made by different person from different department with different methodology. And they are really desperate to have an easy to use tool that can retrieve information from within. This without setting complicated and costly system like SharePoint, for example. Tiki will do it for you. In my file gallery, I have a WAML document. Formally, it's a text document. And I have the word tutorial in the text it contains. I go to the search page, enter tutorial, click on the search button, and magic happens. Tiki show me in the result a file and the file gallery that contain the information. I've uploaded a Microsoft Word document where my name, Bernard Svez, has been saved. Let's see if Tiki can find it. Easy as to say it. And that, my friends, saved thousands of dollars to several Tiki customers. That's it for this tutorial. Please, if you find that video useful, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribing to my channel is actually the best support you can give as I want to make a multilingual channel and I need at least 100 subscribers. Please help. Thanks for many, many positive comments you shared, sent, posted, and for sure I read 98% of good things and two suggestions. One concerning the audio soundtracks and another one about my intro. I make some chance, I hope you like it. Uh, next video will certainly be directly from the Montreal 2018 Tiki Fest that will be held in less than a month. Uh, that's it for now. 
Thank you and enjoy the power of Tiki.